Today, I'm going to do a comparison of three new AI cloud development platforms between Canva Code, Firebase Studio, and DeepSight by Hugging Face. It's going to be three parts. The first part is I'm going to try to generate the same app across all three platforms to show you what it does. The second thing is a price comparison. And then finally, my conclusion on which one you should use for AI coding. Okay, the first one I'm going to try is Canva Code. I made another video on how to gain access to Canva code. Right now is invitation only, but there's a secret hack to get in. You can check that out later. Okay, so I wanna create a workout plan generator. The app helps users generate a one hour weightlifting workout program. See what it does. So the interface is very nice. It starts generating code. Canva is known for creating great UI, UX, and obviously it started with graphics. So I expect it to create something really beautiful. Here it is starting to generate the code. And let's check back when it's done. It took a while, it took a couple minutes. And then here we have a workout program and let's see if it works, right? So I am intermediate. I wanna do full body, moderate intensity. Let's see what it does. And I must say this looks really good. Uh, the formatting looks good, the generating works. And I'm generally quite impressed. So let's try it in Firebase Studio. All right, to make it more fair, same prompt. Let's check it out and see what it does. Firebase is known for being a database, essentially, right? Then when you have a mobile app, a lot of people use Firebase for authentication, database, uh, push notification. And let's see, Google here is asking me coming up with a plan and then seeing if you agree with it. I like this. And then you prototype this app. And let's see how it goes. It's generating some code. So let's check back when it's done. All right, so this generated faster in Canva and we have our workout generator. So let's see, I'm intermediate. There's less options to choose from, but let's say uh, I want full body and let's see what it does. Ah, okay, so there's an error. And what do you know? You have to plug in your Gemini API key, which makes sense because Google is trying to sell their service. Let me put this back in. We'll check in when I have my key. All right, I've plugged in my key and see what it does now. So it calls the AI and then it will generate a workout plan for me. And it's not so great because it's not a full workout. It has a warm up and it doesn't have to. Okay, so let me let me try this. I think I need to be specific with this. So back in chest. Ah, there we have it. Now we do have a workout plan, but the layout is not as nice as Canva. But I think it's using AI to generate this, so it's dynamic. So that's interesting. But we do have a function. Now let's move on to Deep Sight. Yeah, before we move on, I do want to check one more thing because it's using AI. I wonder if it's dynamically generating this. So barbell bench press bent over rows. Maybe if I don't like it, I can generate again. And you do get a new complete set of workout regimens. So this is interesting because every time I work out, I get a new plan. We're now inside Deep Sight by Hugging Face and I copy and paste the same prompt, but for some strange reason, the prompt area is super small and I can't even see my full command. So that's not a great start, but let's see what it does. I click generate and it's doing its magic. So let's give it a second and we'll check back in when it's ready. All right, that was super fast and we have a workout plan generator. Now I must say in terms of UI UX, this is not as good as the other ones. It took a little bit of time, but we finally have it. I noticed that you know it generates the code quite slowly, but we do have a workout program. And it's giving me more options than uh, Firebase, but let's see what it does. So I like this progress bar, generate. And it does a pretty good job of creating this. It, but there, it's incomplete because I only have one exercise. More intensity, maybe? Generate. And 
see, this is the problem. It only gives me one exercise. And so it's incomplete. And when I tried deep sight hugging face, this is the problem I see. Like the first pass, you don't actually get something that's really good. And another thing is all the workouts are hard coded. So it's not using AI to generate dynamic ones. So I'll run out of programs really fast. So with that, let's go back and give my analysis of all three put together. All right, and now we have a side-by-side -side comparison with all of them. In my experience, I think Canva has the best experience overall. It's a nine out of 10 for me. It's the easiest to use. It's got a great user interface and you have all these templates you can choose from. So beginners can come in and choose a template and then off to the race as you go. It's got a high accuracy, not only this time, but I've tried multiple times already. And when you give an initial prompt, it's fairly good at creating a product that is fully functional on the first go, which is rare. But the only downside is that it costs money to use this, right? You need to subscribe to the Canva Pro subscription and it costs money. Second in place is Firebase Studio. It's free to use. It's relatively easy to use for beginners. You just type in your command. It's got the best AI integration. So, you know, I just need to type in my Gemini key and you can do a lot of cool things with it, but the accuracy is not that great. A lot of times I maybe get a 50% chance that my initial design, initial prompt actually creates something functional. If it's a little bit more complicated, it doesn't actually work. So some of the ones I did before, actually none of them worked on first go and I have to debug it. With Canva and Firebase, I think, and AI coding in general, you have to get used to prompting multiple times to fix some errors and the interface makes it easy to do. And so it's not that hard, but compared to a lot of cloud development tools, right? I think Firebase Studio right now is not near the top. I think it's just got a barely passing grade. You can do some small apps with it, but uh, not recommended at this point. And finally, Deep Sight by Hugging Face. I think the whole user interface has a lot of problems with it. Uh, it's difficult to fix your code. You don't know what went wrong. You can't go back. Um, so I feels like a prototype more than a really polished product. So it's like a one out of 10 for me. It's free, but 80% of the time, it doesn't really generate something that works for me. Uh, and it's quite difficult to use, as you can see with the command line interface. So between the three, I would choose uh, Canva code if you have uh, money to subscribe to the services. But if you know you want something free, definitely give Firebase Studio a try. Now I haven't mentioned all the other ones that are available, like Replit, V0, uh, all those other tools. I will use Canva to generate a pretty front end user interface for me uh, sometimes, and then I port that to my other projects to continue to build on top of it because I think this tool actually generates the prettiest user interface out there at the moment next to uh, Lovable, which is another tool for another video. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and feel free to join my community of over 800 people where I'll share additional tips and resources on AI coding and automation.